everybody, it's your boy KC, and I'm back, back with the biz series, so I'm here to give you guys tips, show you guys how to make money rapping, make money off your beats, it's, it's about to be crazy, it's about to be crazy, alright, yeah, I threw on a sweatshirt since the last video, it got cold in here, I'm in Wisconsin, what do you want me to do? Um, if you haven't watched the last video, be sure to go and check that out, the studio update, man, I got a whole bunch of new stuff for you guys, and I'm super excited to release, keep looking down at my hands, because I'm pointing at the number of things that I just released, that I have set up for you guys, so, if you haven't seen that video, be sure to go and watch it, and find out all the exciting stuff that's to come this month, and the next coming months, but, Anyway, we're going to get back on topic. It's the biz. Alright, so today's topic is about something I know you guys really don't think about unless you're more serious and you've done this before and you've had experience. But a lot of people don't know about this and need to take advantage of this when they're in the studio. For one, to be prepared. And two, you need to be prepared because in the music business, things are fast. They need music. Bing, bang, boom. So, um, if you don't have this and you don't have these things in the play, then you're going to miss out on potential money. And I'm basically here to show you how to make money rapping and how to make money selling your beats and licensing your music if you're a producer and all that stuff. So, today is when you're in the studio, this applies more so to artists, not producers, but when you're in the studio, you need to have about five different versions of song, of one song. Alright, so, and I'm going to tell you the reasons why. When you're in the studio, before you leave, you finish the song, you got the mix how you wanted it, um, make sure you have these five different versions. There's the radio edits. If you're like, oh man, I'm not going to do the radio edits, I mean, listen to the radio, they do that for you. No, you're not whoever's on the radio right now. They've had that name established, they built that brand, and they really just want that traffic for say Lil Wayne puts out a song, he ain't doing radio edits, alright, <laughs> um, they're gonna do that for him because he's Lil Wayne, you are not Lil Wayne, alright, and if you are, hit me up, I got beats for you, <laughs> but, um, you need to do radio edits, it's not hard, even if you, when you're in the writing process, even if you want to think of different words that you can put in there in place of the swear words, clean it up, Get yourself ready for the radio. That's where you're going to be making royalties. So if you want to get on the radio, you have to have a radio edit version. And if you're going to submit music to a, a radio station and it's not edited, they're going to ask for the edited version. And if you don't have that, you're going to miss out on the radio gig. So that's the reason why you want to have a radio edited version. Version 2 is you want an instrumental version. Why do you want an instrumental version? Is because instrumentals work perfectly for commercials. Okay? So a lot of the times you hear... I heard the Eminem one with the, the car, I don't remember what car dealership, not car manufacturer, pardon me, use the dun 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 They use Eminem's and that's all instrumental until the end and then Eminem starts rapping but you're going to need an instrumental version so just have the engineer mute all the vocals and then export it. That's a simple one. And movies could use, they think it's perfect for, if they have a nice melody in the background of the music, it'll work really good for some movie scenes or whatever too. Say they don't want the lyrics because they're going to be talking, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's going to interfere. So you want an instrumental version. So again, have them mute the vocals out, export it, it's not hard to do. The third version that you want is a vocal, well the third and fourth I should say, is vocals up and vocals down. So if you're submitting music to a label or if you're on a label, typically labels would want the vocals up louder than the music. They're going to say, keep turning up the vocals to the mix engineer. And you're gonna, the mix engineer is like, the, dude, the vocals are perfect. Don't, don't tell me what to do. Um, for one, it's really good for that. You're making the label happy and if they ask for it, they have it basically. Um, and say you're licensing your music for a commercial and you say a word that correlates with their commercial, right? They're going to want those vocals up prominent because that's what the whole ad is talking about. So you want the vocals up for that. Um, vocals down is if you want to submit it to a commercial and say you are rapping or singing or doing whatever you do on a song, but they still want to have a voiceover. They don't want the the perfect volume. They, they want the vocal there for the voiceover and they don't want your vocal to be conflicting with the voiceover. So you want vocals down and you want to do about 3 dB. That's when you really notice the difference. Um, in the vocal volume, in, in any volume, uh, if you do engineering. So just turn the engineer, tell the engineer you want a vocal up version and a vocal down version, and he should know what that is. And if he doesn't know, just say, can you turn the vocals about between 2 and 3 dB, and you should be set for that. So that's 1 through 4 already. And then the fifth one is an acapella version. So say you start doing shows, right? You're going to have to send the instrumental version to the, to the DJ, and then the vocal version so he can do the chops and edits and the cool things that DJs do. And basically you'll be all set and 
when you're in the studio, you get it done there. It's less of a headache. Then you don't have to leave, hit him up, say he's on the go, say he's busy. I know I'm super busy, so when people hit me up like, yo, can you send this track? People people hate me because I'm like, yeah, I'll send it, I'll send it. Then I'll get distracted and I'll get busy again and I won't send it to a day or two later. So personal experience as an engineer, I'm super busy and I know a lot of other engineers are too. So if you just do this in the studio right away, get it done, say let's export it, use it some of your studio time for that, it'll cause less of a headache for you, you'll, you'll be prepared and you'll be seen as a professional and you'll make more money because you won't miss out on the gig. So again, the five different versions that you need for one song, make sure you do them. I'm telling you, it's very important. So once again, it's your boy KC with KC-Beats.com giving you the biz. I'm out.